one to one. So let's get right into it. Let's open our calendar app. Now across the top, you'll see that it says 2024 and you have a rectangle with some lines under it, search icon and, to, and an add an event plus sign. First thing I would like you to do is tap on the rectangle with the lines under it. That's going to give us a list <clears throat> of four different types of main calendars you can have. If you tap on compact, you will see that it stacks the monthly calendars one under the other, and you will see little dots under each of the dates. Now, <clears throat> the first thing you'll notice is that they are different colors. So if we look at September 1st and you tap on that gray dot, you'll, it'll give you a list starting with that day. Now, my particular calendars, birthdays are a gray color. So that's why you see that in gray. The holidays are like a amber color. So if you hit September, you'll come back and you have that. So you can see different multiple colors on different days. That means you have multiple events on that day. Now, if you hit that compact icon again, you'll see the next one is a stacked. If we tap that, now this gives you a little better representation of multiple events that you have on each of the days and the different colors of the contact of the calendars within the main calendar. What do I mean by that? Well, if you go down to the bottom and you tap on calendars, you'll see that you can create a whole bunch of calendars. So we have one, the main calendar from my wife's account work a shared calendar because you can create a calendar that's shared across users so that in my case if my wife books an appointment it also comes to my calendar so we don't book conflicting events on the same day my appointments apple work appointments apple event any of the you can create new ones now the other thing that's added new is you see the eye if you tap on the eye you can add people to the counter, but the big thing I want to show you is the color. If you tap on yellow, these are the default colors, but what they've added is a custom. You can hit custom. You can come down here. You can select any different color from the grid if you want it in a blue, or you can go to the spectrum and you can adjust the color by moving that dot anywhere around. You can do sliders and it'll adjust all of the color, how, however you choose to do it. This is a pretty neat option. So we'll leave it at blue, go back and you see custom is blue now. You go back and the custom color for Barbara Frank's calendar is blue. You hit done, done again, and then if there were any on there, you would see that in blue. So that's a nice new feature. You can customize the colors for each of your calendars within your main calendar. If you hit that three stacked icon again, you're gonna to go to details. Now, this is similar to a stacked, except you'll see that you have a couple of bits of the type of event it is. So for example, on the 21st, if you tap that, it'll give you that list and it'll show you the events, Peggy Anderson's birthday, Widener game, and it'll also give you subsequent days listed out. If you tap on September, it brings you back to that view. Then your last view, if you tap on the detailed icon, you go to list and you're back to this. Now this view shows you multiple dots under the days, but it will show you those events. If I tap on the ninth, it will show you those events under the calendar itself. So it's a separate calendar for the month, just that month, and then any of the events on any of the days. 
Okay, so let's get into adding reminders to your calendar. Now, there are two ways to do it. You can do it from the calendar or from the reminders app. And we're going to explore each of those. So we're just tap on the 19th. We're going to hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Now, this is where you could add an event. You'll see right under cancel, it says event. To the right of that, it says reminder. Tap on reminder. And we're just going to say add video about reminder. It's showing what list you want to do, and it'll put it down here, down below. If you tap on that, you can change it. So we want to go, we're just going to leave it in the reminders list. You can add a note. We'll just say from both apps and see where it says date you can say today you can select the time if you want to select a different date you just tap on the date well let's say make it the 20th all right then all you do is hit add if you go to the 20th boom there it is if you go to the reminders app you see there it is right there and it's down at the bottom you can then add a new reminder, say new reminder. This is from the reminder app itself. New reminder on, we'll say the 21st. It's gonna add it to the reminders list. Down from here, that row of icons above the keyboard, tap on the first one, hit the 21st. We're just going to tap out of the suggested list. We're going to leave it in the reminders list. Just hit add. And if we go back to the calendar, there it is. New reminder on the 21st. You can also come in and you can, if you tap on it, it's going to show it that it's completed. You can also from here, delete it, delete reminder. You go to the 19th or the 20th where we had those listed two of them. Okay, you can just delete it, tap on it. Okay, and it's say no events, but your, your 20th, you see you have that. If you go back to reminders, you see, you go to the reminders list, hide completed, I'm just, showing you that would be the default show completed and then it's going to show you everything right there that's how you can use either app to add reminders to the calendar and to the reminder app by itself let me know what you think all right talk to you soon